Hello YouTubers, so uh, let's go for uh, one more video and now I'm going to be covering how to delete records from SQL using the uh, date adapter delete command and uh, so let's get started. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is add a button to my form and I'm going to call this the, uh, the del delete and uh, change the button name to button delete. Let's go inside the uh, button event here and um, let me be lazy a little bit and then just copy and paste all this okay and I'm gonna copy and paste into the delete uh, event and I'm copying the update uh, commands okay uh, we don't need the integer here and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna highlight all of it I'm gonna press control F uh, this is gonna come up I'm gonna click um, on quick replace and I'm gonna find everything that says update and I'm gonna replace with delete okay and I'm gonna replace all in the selection okay make sure that you have uh, selection uh, highlighted and now I just made that into my delete command uh, there are a few things that we have to change we're not gonna need both of these uh, and also we have to change the uh, actual SQL command so I'm gonna delete everything before the where um, and then I'm going to type delete from table contacts where ID equals ID. That's pretty much it. Um, and then I'm going to open the connection string. I'm going to run the delete command and I'm going to close it. Now here's the thing. Since delete, there's there's no undo on delete when you're doing directly to SQL. If we were using a data, a data adapter and then we were going to update later, we could do that, which I'm going to uh, have tutorials on. But uh, right now, since we're talking directly to SQL, uh, we should warn users of that. Because once data is deleted, there's no way back. Uh, so let's put a message box in here. Message box show. And then let's uh, give the users the warning. Um, let's ask them, are you sure? Um, let's put a, a return line here and it says, and say, uh, there is no undo once data is deleted. Kind of long, but that's okay. And now let's uh, just uh, set our title. It says confirm deletion. And then let's give an option of um, yes or no if they want to proceed. So yes or no. And one way to check this is that the uh, message box that show um, returns a uh, message result. So let's create a um, Dialog is a dialog result. Dialog result. Oh, dialog result. Yeah, so let's say dialog result. And then let's assign dialog result to the message box. And now let's use an if statement here. And let's say if dialog result equals dialog result dot yes. Let's get that enumeration there then we're gonna say that we're gonna execute this so let's put that in there else um, then we can just say message box dot show says um, deletion cancel Okay, so let's give that a try. Let's fire up the application here. Display. Now I have my records in there. Uh, and then I press delete. And it says, are you sure? Uh, there's no undo once data is deleted. Then you answer yes or no. Answer yes. Um, right now we're not refreshing the data. So let's uh, go ahead and take care of that. So I deleted the first record, right? So let's get out. And then uh, you start the application again. Display. See, the first record is gone, right? But it's kind of silly to have to reload the application to see the results. So one thing that we can do here, it's actually say once the data is deleted, we're going to clear the data set. So data set dot clear, and then we're going to refill. So we're going to say um, data adapter dot fill data set. Okay. Let's see if that's going to work. Let's press play again. Delete. Are you sure? Yes. And now you can actually see the deletion happening. So. Let's delete uh, 
Mary, delete. Yes, now Mary's gone. And then let's delete Gabriel. But I accidentally press John. Wow, that's very intense. So we press no and say deletion cancel. And now John's still there. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you delete records uh, using um, the, the the SQL data adapter delete, delete command. Um, stay tuned and rate my videos, please. Um, I don't like to beg, but uh, please rate my videos. Okay. Oh, rate well if you like it. If you don't like it, you don't have to rate. I mean, that's as simple as that. I mean, I don't want to make it too complicated. Okay. See you guys soon. Bye.